Hello everyone, Switch Double here. I decided to do another theory video about Celestia. In this time, I want to focus more on what if Celestia for Cadence will mod? And since we all know nothing about <coughs> Cadence um, family, and since ever since that we officially know that Cadence were adopted to Celestia and as, as her niece and that the only other the other known family member we know about to Cadence by blood is actually her ancestor Princess Amor of Crystal Empire but what if we said that it focus on Cadence and Celestia being her real mother I mean, there has been a, <clears throat> a few theories or discussion about if what if that Celestia were actually Cadence's real mother, real mother. So but let's say, let's say it if that is true. What made her decide to make to lie to her own daughter, even if she knows that Cadence is actually her real daughter? Well, let's say that if the Cadence were born to Celestia and that and that her father is unknown. I and mean, but let, let's see if this uh if the know that the father is actually a normal pony. Like an elite class pony but <clears throat> was never told about his real daughter was even born. And that during the time that Celestia was pregnant, she decided to keep her out of the public until the door, until her baby was born, because if the public noticed that that she was getting pregnant, many ponies were asked, "Who is her father?" If she's going to get married, so she didn't want to have it much the focus, and yet she only also had to keep the staff and the guards to promise to keep a secret, even for the rest of their families, their old friends, and even for anyone to find out that. Their princess is actually going to be a mother soon. And after that she had a baby, she had only two options. Keep her or put her away from adoption. But if she did kept her as a baby, if she kept her daughter, there would still rise a question among the public. Where did the baby came from? And who is the father? And why didn't she announce to the public that she was going to be a mother? Perhaps she felt she was not ready to be a mother. Even she is a thousand years old, but she perhaps didn't feel ready to be a mother. And so she decided to put her daughter for adoption. To, but she also decided to keep the secret even for the adoption agency. Perhaps she told this orphanage that she had found the baby girl somewhere and that she didn't and she wanted her to have a good home and that she had been watching over her daughter from a distance over time like watching her growing up how she got a cutie mark and how she was later granted to be a princess and later to be as has adopted a niece in their family. The other unknown family member who would know about this was actually Luna. But if the Celestia did want to keep her the baby, even Luna would probably have asked, why did you not tell the stallion who that you were pregnant? He could still be there. But perhaps the or is a possibility that the, the stallion known did know about the pregnancy at that he was going to be a father, but he wasn't ready to be a parent yet, so he decided to leave Celestia and disappear somewhere else. And that Celestia has been, been heartbroken. She thought that the stallion would be there with her during her time and when the daughter was born. And she was hoping that he would come back to her after the, sometimes before her dead body, the daughter was going to be born. But he didn't. So if that is a wonder possibility that Celestia 
she knew who the stallion is and that she did tell him and that he wasn't ready to be a parent and decided he would not think to do anything with, with the, the unborn baby at any cost at all. And that Celestia did believe that he would re- change his mind and come back before the dead bo- the daughter was even born. And even be there when she was when the daughter was born. But all the for nothing, all the waiting for, for nothing. But it turns out turns out that in the end that Celestia did had only two options keep the baby or put her for adoption. But if she did keep the baby Soon, the public would notice that she had a baby. But they would also ask, who is the mother? Is she the mother? But who is the father? Are they married? What did they have, why did this kept the secret from the public? There would be a big news if there was coming out of the public that everyone would know about. But to the end, Celestia didn't want to have this, perhaps he didn't want to have this, to be public known and since if they found out the public found out that the father he didn't want to be a parent and just disappear and then the public would probably demand it demand the stallion to to come forward to admit that it is daughter but if that happened Celestia would still have felt heartless or heartbroken so why did the Celestia then decide to keep her baby? She could have been also even if that went out to the public that she had a baby, she could have said that she found the baby somewhere but didn't exactly give the exact location and that she wanted to keep this a secret. But raising a baby by herself, even if she has Celestia Luna by her side, and that even though that she had perhaps some staff or guards that can always look after the, her daughter. But at the same time, be a single parent and ruler of the entire kingdom could be a very stressful job. That she had to <laughs> then, I mean, for example, if she realized, if she wanted to keep the baby, it would be stressful time for her. It would be full she had to focus not a lot of time to be her daughter and her royal duties. Sometimes when she has like royal delegations from other kingdoms coming over for meetings and uh, and suddenly that she had to be called off the meeting because her daughter was hungry or she needed something to be changed or something or she couldn't sleep. How much work would she have been done if she had kept her baby? I'm not saying that it wouldn't be hard, but it would. But even if that Luna was there, she could have taken over the meeting for her at the time that it happened. But to the end, in what I can understand that Celestia, she wanted to keep her baby, but she realized it would be hard to, to accept the fact that she would be a single mother and the father will never return. Even she was hoping that he would. But he wouldn't, perhaps he wouldn't even do it. And that even Celestia was asked by Luna, what if that she could find some mother stallion to marry it? So that, the, so at least her daughter could have a father and a mother. But Celestia didn't want to have any one else. And she perhaps felt abandoned by the stallion who gave, who made her pregnant and and find out that he was going to be a parent, but he didn't want to, to keep her baby. But he said that he didn't want to be a parent and just disappeared. But if the Celeste did have the baby as if Keyes were actually her daughter, why would she suddenly just lie to her that she is actually her adopted niece? Even that she had been seeing, watching over her daughter from a distance, like, see how much she had been growing from a baby to a young age, how she became, how she managed to get to cutie mark, and, and even, and, and even the saying, and then granted her to be a princess. And so saying that she is now her adopted niece. 
But let's say that if they were true, that says that they did, did actually were Cadence's real mother, why would that she had lied to her own daughter all the years? Perhaps she felt guilty. Perhaps she was so guilt felt guilty that she had to give away her own daughter because she couldn't say believe that she couldn't uh, couldn't to take care of her. Being a single mother and raising a daughter and ruling a kingdom can be stressful. From at least from my point of view, it will be stressful. Perhaps she had to wake up in the middle of the night, and that Cadence couldn't sleep or was hungry, and that makes her tired. And that will also means also tying her out Celestia during the night. And so she could not even perform her single role duties in the daytime. So so the, so the only logic or answer that she had to do to, was to give away her own daughter. But instead of perhaps putting her for an adoption in an, or put her in an orphanage, because who knows how long she could be in the orphanage. It could have been for several years until or, or perhaps never been found as by suitable parents. Or that Celestia did find a suitable parents sometimes after she had her baby daughter and that she was looking for a suitable parents, or at least suitable family, or at least a couple that can raise her daughter as their own. But in saying that, if she did find a couple or a family who had, who she believed that could have, could have been a very suitable parent parents for her daughter, but also made up some sort of story that she had found Cadence somewhere abandoned, and that she felt guilt guilty, so she decided to put the baby daughter for adoption. But who knows? There are so many possibilities among the theories and that would happen in this. But but I want to say Cadence, if she were Celeste's daughter, who knows? But it's a, a nice thought actually in seeing that Cadence could have been Celeste's daughter, but at least she has a family of her own now. And that's all I want to say in this period. So if you have your, your thoughts, opinions, let me know in the comment section below. And as is always, subscribe, leave a comment, and as is always, this is Switch Novel, over and out.